Hey, this is Dr. Aldewan Tart, and I am teaching a series on healthy sexuality, how to guard your godly sexuality. I am doing this at the request of my brothers and sisters in Christ, uh, Pastor Wayne Cheney and his beautiful wife, Maisha Cheney, who are pastors and co-pastors out at uh, Antioch Church in Long Beach this Sunday, August 13th preaching three services. I am so excited about it. Now, I know you're wondering, should you be talking about this? I know what the Holy Rollers, forget the Holy Rollers, I know what I was thinking when he asked me to do this. You sure you want to do this in church? You don't want to do this like outside of church? No, in church, because here's what's happening. What we don't talk about is killing us. It's not what we talk about is killing us, it's what we don't talk about. Let me share a shocking statistic. Research shows that nine out of 10 teenage boys will be exposed to pornography before they turn 18. Six out of 10 teenage girls before they turn 18. How this is not our this is not the world I grew up in. This is certainly not the world our parents grew up. You know why? Because of smartphones and access to technology and the cyber world. But this is not just affecting our children. This is affecting us. Images on Facebook, Instagram, Netflix, YouTube, direct messages, text messages, things that you see, images that we see all over are being infused in our mind and they are corrupting us and we have to fight. We have to fight. We have to fight to keep our focus on who we need to have our focus on because when we when we dive in and we, we get caught up in, in sexual addiction and perversion and sexual boredom towards our spouses, it, it breaks everything. And so I'm giving you a word. I'm giving you a word, but I'm only. I'm also giving you the works. I'm giving you interventions. I'm telling you uh, what helps sex addicts. I'm telling you what helps people restore their marriages. I'm talking about what specific scriptures that that talk to this, that talk to this very fact, and tell you that sexuality is something that can corrupt and contaminate your mind. And we're going to talk about what to do about it. One thing that I'm going to talk about. I'm going to give you a little sneak peek because I, I want you to come out. I want you to come get this. It's going to set people free. It's something called double-mindedness, double-mindedness. And this is something that I struggled with in college, and I've definitely struggled with it as an adult, where you'll say, all right, on one hand, I want to be the man that God, a woman that God called me to be. I want to be, and I want to exhibit godly sexuality in my relationship, okay? And then on the other hand, you start thinking, oh, man, but the sex sex before marriage and uh, sex this way and sex with this person and variety and sex. This feels so good. I deserve this. So I want to be this, but then I don't want to give this up because I don't know. It makes me feel good. Ah, Double-mindedness. We're going to talk about how to get over that. Oh my goodness. I've done so much research for this. I'm excited to share what's in the scripture and also what's out there in psychology that helps us master and have self-control over our godly sexuality. Whether you're in the church or not, you need to be in the building. Live Live stream at AntiochLongBeach.com. Just look it up. Uh, it should be in the link attached to this video. If if you miss it or you're not in the California area, I'm Dr. Tar. I'm excited about this. Intercessors, you need to be praying for us in this series. You need to be praying so that people can be set free. And it is an honor and a pleasure for me to serve you. I am here to be bold for Christ. I'm here to be bold for you. And I'm here to teach you the things that we need to master our healthy sexuality. I love you. Take care. God bless. See you Sunday.